joined by a very special <laughs> guest this morning. Yeah, look who's in the kitchen joining me today, Annabelle Langbein. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Excited to be here. Wow, quite nervous actually. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, we're both going to be cooking a new recipe out of a new book, uh, Essential. So it's going to be fantastic. So what are we going to be cooking today? I thought we'd do a chicken and ginger dumpling bowl. It's mm. a really simple way of just bringing dinner together in 10 minutes. That's really yummy with all those lovely Asian flavours. Oh, well, it's looking fantastic and it's, uh, well, pretty easy. So Very easy. We'll get on cooking it a bit later. And in the kitchen this morning, Annabelle Langbein is here. Welcome. Thank you, Mike. It is and so Mark. good. Yeah, it's so good to have you here. Um, congratulations on your latest book, Essential. It is brilliant. It's a very good, good. You know, you can get your muscles going on. It's yeah. so heavy. No, Mel raves about it all the time. <laughs> oh, she that's does. Great. She loves it. Um, yeah. What inspired you to put that together? What's different about it? Um, I kind of wanted. I'm doing so much travel around the world at the moment that I wanted this um, book that was sort of like an opus of New Zealand cooking because I think the way New Zealand cooking has changed so much since 20 years since I wrote this book called The Best of Annabelle Langbein, Great Food for Busy Lives. And really now we've got this global pantry of flavours at our fingertips. Ooh, nice. And speaking of fingertips and food, <laughs> we're going to make some we of your are. dumplings today. Absolutely. Okay, you can talk Mark's Chicken right. stock. So yes. This is one of those 10 minute dinners. People say, you know, you're coming home from work and you haven't got time to cook. You go, you've got time to cook. So then start with some... Um, Nice chicken stock. I prefer to use a liquid chicken stock. And then we're going to flavour it up. And this is the thing Mark and I were talking about. You know, the great thing about these Asian dishes is mm. you just can change out the ingredients. We've got all these sauces at our fingertips. So I've got oyster sauce. We'll yep, fire some it. of that in. So I, you chop up some spring onions. Yep, you put them to work, Annabelle. So <laughs> here what we're doing is we're creating a really flavoursome broth. And then we're going to cook some noodles in here. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to use um, over here chicken sausages and if you can get the free range chicken sausages it's even better nice. because they have that lovely um, kind of texture. Oh great. You could do it with pork sausages, you could do it with sliced chicken, you could do it with anything so you just got this idea of a one pot meal. Oh we love no that. No dishes. You know? Yeah and it seems like it's relatively speedy which we yeah, love. Yeah absolutely. So sesame oil and a wee bit of fish sauce. Yes. And then the thing that makes it really yummy and aromatic we're going to put those ones in at the end. Okay cool. And we'll put these in. Yeah so just cut them <laughs> and I leave them whole. And okay. then um, sometimes I put them in, but sometimes I just... I'm cut them off. Just go like that. Yep, cut, cut them there. And I'm going to put that in just to flavour the broth with some star anise. And oh, these, nice. it's ingredients like this, mm. they're not expensive, but they actually make your food taste really aromatic. So much really flavour in there as well, isn't yeah. And then lots and lots of ginger. I love ginger. I use this all the time. I use it in everything because it's really good for your digestion. And you'll notice here, really, apart from the sausages, there's no fat. Super nice. light. Super healthy. Up for you. Love ginger. And then the other thing we're going to put is we want some lemon lime zest which, and then chilli. And chilli is one of those fantastic ingredients because the thing about chilli is, you know, you eat it and you think your head's going to blow off yes. and you break out in a sweat and, you know, you feel slightly <laughs> ratty because you're really hungry and you can't eat anything because it's so hot. That's what normally happens. <laughs> but it's the most fantastic thing because afterwards you get this total chill. Right. And it's because, you know, chilli's actually an irritant. So when you eat something really hot, it puts your body into this active kind of like, oh, it's like jumping into a really cold pool. Right. And then you wait about 10 minutes and the euphoria kicks in. So over the winter, when you don't want to go for the 5K run to get that sense of chill, <laughs> so if you've got PMT or a grumpy husband, you're in. Oh, yeah, I like that so, too. That's this. good. And I'm just going to pop these noodles in here. You can use any kind of a noodle. You can use a rice noodle, an egg noodle. Udon? So, udon. You can have oh, okay. gluten-free noodles, anything. Yes. So just put a couple of those bundles in. Nice work. And you, you just, is that normal Boiling water? water? Did you put any salt in it? No, no, often with noodles they're already salted. Okay, cool. Asian noodles rather than pasta, isn't right. it? Right, okay, so we've got great. Little flavours and broth, and then when we come back, we're going to finish it and put fresh cabbage or bok choy or anything in our sausages, and then some, finish it at the end with lime rind, coriander. Um, and the greens of the spring oh. onions. So it's just a really aromatic, simple and how way. How long do we cook this for to get all the flavours out? I probably cook that for about five minutes. Oh, yeah, great. It's literally it's, just... Because you want to keep it nice and, and fresh. And then I'm going to take out the spring onion tops and the um, star anise. Right. You could leave them in because they're going to cook. They'll be tender. But I'll take the star anise out, otherwise they're a bit too strong. Nice work. Well, I'll tell you what, we will come back and see the second part of this very soon. The noodles are just about ready. You just oh, want to good. break them up now and then so they yep. don't stick together. Okay. And then this beautiful broth is simmering away mm, here. Smells incredible. And you're going to squeeze out the sausages and literally just squeeze them straight into here. Oh, squeeze. Yeah. Really? And the thing about a sausage is you can't actually overcook it. 
So just little dumplings in there, and that's oh. why it's such a simple idea. I you know, you're not even having to do anything because the sausage has already right. got the flavouring. You can use, you know, sausages come in so many flavours, like yes. you can get the chilli and mango, and as I said, you could do pork sausages, but you could put chicken in here, you could make a tofu bowl. This and is then, great, and this is why it's so fast, isn't it? Isn't it? I know, I was wondering, fast. how are we getting the dumpling then, part of this? But that is um, super. the lime rind, because that's really, these are all aromatics, and they're going to make right. your food taste so good. And then we're just going to cut um, some cabbage up. You can use cabbage, bok choy, spinach. And this, this, this idea that you're just building all these flavours in the bowl. Yeah. And literally, once they go in, it's about a minute. Oh. And so we'll put this yummy, beautiful cabbage in. Just take the core out of that. that so it's quick as a bee. All in the pot, there we go, Ta -da. same pot. Just putting everything in. Yeah, one in. pot. And then I always cook the noodles separately and then add them, because otherwise you can't get your timing right. So okay. it's always worth knowing that. And nice, then right at the end, we're gonna put in coriander. And this is a really interesting thing for people. So we often in this country throw away the coriander root, but the most flavour comes from the root. From the root so we can yeah. put that in if we want to. I okay. would have put it in earlier and then take it out. Okay. So that I will see. give you some flavour. But keep nice. those, you can even freeze them. Chop we'll that chop up that and then I think we're just about good to go. It's this as quick is fantastic. as that. And you see how the little dumplings keep their shape? Oh, that's brilliant. Look at yeah. that. And they're not going to take long to cook either. Super you know, easy. Like, so the, the thing easy. that takes the longest time is the noodles. So get it them is. on first. Yeah, yeah, get them on when first they're ready, and you're away. Everything's ready. And, and what I like to do is wait until it comes back to a boil because then you know that whatever kind of sausage you've got is cooked in the sense that you're not going to give yourself food poisoning. Yeah. Before, and taste it and go, oh, I'd like a bit more chilli or oh, I want more ginger in there. You can punch it up. And that's the thing that I always try and do is give you the best, simplest recipe so it's a roadmap that you won't get lost, but then you can make it your own. Oh, that is brilliant and all covered in the book. Essential. This recipe is in the Yummy. book. How many recipes have we got? In quite that hot. Pot? It's quite hot. Oh, hot, hot, hot. <laughs> hot. I'm getting my chip. I'm getting my chip. I've got, um, there's more than 650. Oh, oh my God. That is seriously okay. an office. Oh, yeah, well worth yeah. it. Okay, good work. So everything is coming on quite nicely here. I think we're going to literally pop these in here. Yeah. And then... Okay, nice. You could drain them, but I'm just going to fire yeah, them in. Yeah, fire them in. They are good to go. Nice You never work. want an overcooked soggy noodle. <laughs> no, no, rule you don't, Annabelle. It's a rule of life. <laughs> you don't, There's no indeed. soggy overcooked noodles on the show, but I tell you what, whatever that chilli is, it's so hot, I just about burnt my oh, lip. That's what right, you're going to have, you're gonna have the like chill down period very soon, <laughs> oh, Annabelle. Oh. Hey, now, Annabelle and Mark, how have those dumplings turned they out? They are ready for you to eat. I'm just giving you a little, you know, alert warning. So spicy. One, a little bit of green oh, on like the top. Oh, two. Oh, it smells incredible. It's just so though. simple. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Nice no work. one's going to be grumpy. Let's see. <laughs> Let's take these over. Put extra coriander on for Jesse. Oh, <laughs> yum. Oh, oh God. This is a moment. Getting served some food by Annabelle. Dinner. Thank you. There you oh, go. I know as well. Okay, what are you? <laughs> what are you doing?